What's up guys? Today we have a 2K, not 4K, why did they do that? I don't know. Folding arm camera drone by MJX. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia is taking a nap and Popeye is batting down the hatches. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today we're at the airfield on a very busy club day. This is a lot of fun. We've got airplanes in the air, biplanes, gas planes, glow planes, drones. We even have the track up and running today, which you're going to see a lot of shots with this drone, hopefully, in the video today. Uh, today's kind of a soft opening for our track up here, and if you want to know more information on that, we'll have a link in the description box below. We'd love to have you join up here. Today we're going to take a look at this GPS drone by MJX. We've got brushed motors, we have GPS, pretty nice app functionality, a really nice folding transmitter that I kind of like a lot, and I'm really hopeful for this drone to do well. I like MJX a lot. You guys know the drill by now. If we like what we see in the air, we'll show you more on this drone at the end of the video. So let's put this in the air. Go to press the lock button. This is an MJX drone. Now we can hit auto takeoff. And we're in the air with some wind and it's holding really solid. So that is good. That is nice. Let's, I'm gonna fly over here to try to clean up the audio in the background there. <laughs> Today is a very busy club day. Very busy club day. Okay, look at this. It looks pretty good. Check it out. Can you angle the camera? Uh, yes. So, yeah, we're actually recording right now. You want to say hi to YouTube? No. Okay. <laughs> he said no. He's one of our new track members up here. Not, yeah, I think today's his first day at the field. Help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a this is nice. MJX puts out some pretty good. So, drones. were you able to angle it? Yeah, I angled it down and I cleaned up the shot. You see, okay. looks really good. Let's go look at the track. Actually, where the, he he doesn't want to be on YouTube. Well, see if he can outrun my drone. I'm All the kidding. info on our club field here will be at the bottom of our description box. So be sure to click that arrow, hit show more, and uh, check that out. Yeah, so they're working on the track a little bit right now. They might be wetting it down a little. Uh, that twitching of the drone oh, did it for like three, maybe one, I two, heard three. It. Yeah. Uh, I was hands free when it did that. So we just missed about maybe 20 seconds there or something. We just had a little short conversation with the club member. Hey, they're running a, looks like maybe a 10 scale electric on the track yeah, right now. Yeah, that's why we can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, look, you can see it running around. I don't want to fly over their heads. I'll get a little closer though. It took us like three years to, well not us, but the club to get that running, but it's Today's up. Today's the day, yeah. So it's a good practice day. Now, one thing you guys are going to notice is this is a pretty wobbly shot. Now when I let my hands off the controls completely and it has a chance to stabilize, it does pretty good. There's no gimbal on this or anything. You know, we're looking at about a about $120 or so drone. And it says it's a 2K camera. I'm not sure about that, but we are recording to a micro SD card right now, a class 10 card. And hopefully, hopefully it looks a little better than your average cheap drone 1080p camera. Well, that's really cool to see the car running around the track. I like watching that a lot. <laughs> that Abby's is peeking cool. over to watch too. It's fun to finally see. We even have a timing system there. They said they were gonna, the next step, they were gonna get rid of the grass strip in the middle. Just take it out completely? Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't okay. know what they're gonna put in the middle, but yeah, they said they're gonna take that out and make the lane wider. Okay. So they must be putting like some type of fence or something. Yeah, there. yeah, okay. Maybe like a wood, yeah, wood something. paneling strip. That's what the they said. But I think I like the grass there. I think it looks good, but you know, we're not pro racers. We really don't know what, what people like to race on. So I, I guess if you got rid of the grass and put up like some type of fencing that would pe keep people from like cutting through on accident. Possibly, yeah, that's a good point. Well, today it's about the drone here, and, and with MJX, you know, I feel like we're generally in good hands. We've got a visual position hold system camera on the bottom, so even when the wind picks up and we start toilet bowling like it did just there, the visual position hold system took over and it locked it in place. I'm totally hands-free, so we have a little bit of twitching going on right now. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. <laughs> Today's a busy club day, guys. We just got to, you know, there's a lot of club members up here, and that's a good thing. It's a really good thing to see the hobby growing. And that is the sound of recycling cans, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Club day, it's RC stuff, you know? We've had a lot of, let's look at that. That is a drone completely on its own. I think the wind gets it started and it's trying to clean that up on its own. 
we're in such a bad spot, Abby. <laughs> I know. Everyone's just having to walk by. <laughs> well, I you didn't want to go out. in front of the regular canopy that we're in oh, front of, man. or the other canopy, because people are having conversations. And so we chose right behind the sidewalk in the shade. Right. It's our fault for trying to film on a club day. Yes, but you know, we thought it would be nice to come up here. We wanted to see the track and everything. Wanted to see the track running, give them a couple shout outs to let everyone know, hey, the track is up and running. And we had a couple drones charged and ready to go. You guys yeah. have been asking for more drones. You know, we like to show you guys good drones, like the Xiaomi Femi and the Hubson Zeno and DJI drones. But we also really like getting our hands on drones that are more budget friendly, right around $100 price point. And, and MJX is known to put out some of the best stuff. Now obviously I don't like the fact that this has brushed motors but they had to get that price point down somehow and I suppose that's that was their choice to look I'm giving it full right y'all and it just wasn't going. This the flight characteristics of this drone are just a little iffy and I, I have to lower my expectations some because I'm very used to flying. Oh look Lane's gonna fly. Oh good for okay you. you guys have seen Lane fly. <laughs> They haven't seen him fly his little 3D plane. I don't though. think so, no. And does he plane. always have the biplane or does he I have another he, 3D plane? I think plane? he brings this plane up here a lot. I, so I you guys there, look at it. the flight stand. You guys have seen that uh, gas plane fly. He flew that in our night radiant video. Yeah, And now there today he he's taken off with his biplane. Oh, he's so much fun to watch. Abby, you should probably just record him a little bit. <laughs> I mean, this drone is great and all, you know. But it's probably not going to be one of my highest recommended GPS drones ever. So we'll get Lane flying his biplane for a minute. If anything, give this video a thumbs up just for Lane yeah. being awesome. You guys, remember when you're watching our videos, we're the RC Sailors. We're not the RC technical boring guys that go over every single aspect. Sailor is our last name. Yeah. It's a family channel. This channel is about having fun in the RC it's hobby. It's just kind of like a RC family. adventures. Nope. with our family. <laughs> but we're not RC Adventures. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that he took that. It's not it's not fair RC Adventures. We uh we like, like to go names. on we like to go on RC Adventures too. <laughs> RC excursions. There we go. There's probably I'm somebody sure, with I'm that sure that's channel taken. name. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a usable GPS drone. You know, it's holding really solid. I'm getting a few shots of Lane. That's cool. It's just really like he, I've seen, like, Hubson has a couple drones that, even when they're just hovering there, they don't, they don't wobble around like this one does. I do want to do, like, a circle, circle point of interest, though. While Abby's recording that, I'm going to get this shot set up. So there's us. We're well above power lines and things. So I'm going to try to set up a circle me function. Yes. Okay, we're starting to do a circle pattern, Abby. You don't have to record me. Keep sir, keep recording Lane. We'll put either him or me in the corner. I don't know, one of the two. <laughs> but we're doing a nice circle shot. I'm going to aim the camera up while we do this. There, he landed. Cool. No, I I'm directly above us. It's okay. <laughs> I know they've been working on that plane, so there may have been a reason he landed. I don't know. The circle function is a little weird on this drone. I just gave it a little yaw input. And... I want to try to widen the circle as I'm flying. Let's see if I can do that. I don't think it's letting me with the joysticks here. Sometimes you can adjust the it's speed. I can adjust the height though of the circle while it's going. Well, that's good. Guys, I don't know. This is. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night if I say go buy this drone. I mean, if you love it and you like what okay, you see. Okay, but there are MJX drones we would recommend. Oh my gosh! Yes, absolutely. You know, Which are? MJX has, my, my all time favorite is the Bugs 3. <laughs> right? And to lead you on there. <laughs> well, the Bugs 3 is my all time favorite. And it's kind of cool to see them doing more with this cheap folding arm camera drones. But is there, a, is there a huge market for this type of drone right now? No. We have a brushed motor, 2K camera, ability to angle up and down. No, people want something like the Hubson Zeno yeah. for about $200. Yeah. That's what they're wanting. Hubson Zeno is like $350 or something, $350. Like, people are wanting that, but cheap. And, and we could have we could have gone to a private field and done a full technical review of this thing, but honestly, I, I, uh, I just... I just don't think there's this giant market for it. I want to know from you guys in the comments below. This is really important. It's important for me to know for our channel, and it's important for the hobby in general. Are you in the market for this type of drone? $100 drone with brushed motors, 
GPS. It's not flying so great. I'm not saying this drone in particular, but is there anyone out there right now in the RC hobby that wants this style of drone? I mean, the drones a couple years ago just flooded the market, and we saw every single kind of drone that was out there. NJX made some good GPS drones that were really similar to the Bugs 3, right? Yes. That yes. were good. Yeah, they were good with brushless motors. Tell you what, we'll card those throughout this video. You all, that's what you need to check out. Yeah. They're more expensive just than this. Just a little bit. They're going to be around 200 bucks. No, not even, they, not even, I mean, they're not, they're not even that no, much. They're not going to be that much more expensive. They're going to perform better than this. You're going to be happier yeah. with them. And, and, and you guys are going to see a drone on our channel probably tomorrow and maybe the next day or soon. We've got a couple <laughs> other drones. Is that uh, just reflecting the sun no, or is there a really lights, bright light? No, it has two bright lights on the bottom and oh, I think okay. they're using That's that neat. for kind of like visual position hold inside like infrared or something. I noticed, I noticed the really bright lights. Let me try to cancel this circle me because we've been doing that for like 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I and I want you guys you. to see these bright lights on the bottom too, unless it's going to return to home. Uh, it might be. It might it's be, on a 10 minute I'm, flight. I'm still able to do, oh nope there, it's taken over. And it's wobbling too. Like it's spiraling down. That's that's not me right there. I'm just gonna land it, and then I'll show you guys the bright lights on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just you know we're honest, we're real you and honest. You landed it behind the bush. I don't have any. Oh, it's in the bush. <laughs> I I didn't have control. I wanted to show you guys the bottom of the drone. The lights are not on. I think because the motors are stopped, but. Got an awesome friend here, a new are you a member of our club now? Uh, I guess so. I think so. His name? He's Nathan Ramey. Nathan. And he's killing it! <laughs> Look at his hat. <laughs> so he's here for the track, for the ground vehicles, but I think you're probably taking a little interest in the planes and drones now, right? Yep. Let me turn this off. Well, I told him if he wanted to, he could be on the channel. He watched us pretty much that whole flight. And there we go, drones off. This little on off switch here. By the way, uh, this has four AAA batteries in the transmitter. Here, I'll let you hold that. Tell me what you think. <laughs> this, this drone is definitely a pass, you guys. I, I couldn't go to bed at night. Um, I'd be up all night tossing and turning if I told someone to buy this drone, and it's just not something I could recommend. I was really, really, really hopeful because it's MJX. They put out good stuff. But as Abby said, there's other MJX drones that I think we would much rather recommend to you guys. What do you think? Transmitter? Yeah. Is that your first drone transmitter? No, actually I've had quite a few drones in my past and I've put them in trees. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, so I just hit the bush, you hit trees. Nathan, this is what Nathan in the hobby does. I'm Nathan too. And also, I'm also Nathan for those of you that don't know. No wonder why we crash them, crash them so much. I know, yeah, jeez. Any other Nathans out there that crash your drones all the time? Let us know in the comments below. Well, we'll have this linked below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Um, and if you want to join our club, just like Nathan recently did, we just got the track up and running. I can hear some 10th scale electrics going around the... Yes. And, and what do you, as a, as a first day open on the track, what do you think so far? It's pretty good. I've worked on the track like a week ago when we worked on it and got it almost ready. And it's the people that own it have been working it in for us. And mm -hmm. We've been watering it and keeping it good. It's fun? Yeah. Yeah. It, it should be ready for our the first race next weekend. Next weekend. If you guys are in the area and you watch our videos regularly, we're going to have a grand opening next weekend, I think. Yes. Hopefully. We'll have more information on the track. Link below, like Abby said earlier in the video. More information on the drone. Link below. And we love for you guys to subscribe to the channel today. We gained a new subscriber. Are you one of those new subscribers too? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>